Bob Hall, a longtime government watchdog, says that Duke Energy, the largest political action committee in the state, illegally contributed more than $40,000 to North Carolina lawmakers just before the company introduced legislation that would change the way electricity rates are determined in North Carolina. That plan became Senate Bill 559. Its fate remains undecided today in Raleigh. Mr. Hall says in his complaint that Duke failed to disclose illegal contributions to top legislative leaders in a report filed this past July. The company, according to the complaint, wrote checks to lawmakers in December of 2018 before realizing it had already given lawmakers the maximum amount of money for the entire year. Duke asked lawmakers to return the money, which they did, but Duke didn't disclose the contributions in a recent filing with the State Board of Elections. I think for Duke, they need to recognize that it's about the integrity of their own organization. Uh, the honesty of the reports they filed is being questioned. And, and they basically uh, admitted that you know, they did something wrong. They took some steps to correct it. But the important step of, of revealing to the public what they did was not taken. Duke Energy responded with a statement this afternoon, quote, we will review the complaint once we receive it, and we will reply accordingly to the State Board of Elections. The claim that we made illegal contributions is false and misleading. We are committed to remaining transparent with our employee PAC contributions. In Greensboro, Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.